Let's turn our attention now to Share School with independent investment expert Roger Montgomery. Let's go to the coal section sure. now because it's a big story. Yep. We know Peabody values MacArthur very highly because it keeps chasing it all the time and it forces the market up to, to want to pay more for MacArthur. Yeah. So why don't we take one company and tell us what, let's compare the, the share market price to what you think the intrinsic value is. Well, well let's talk about MacArthur Coal yeah. because that's the one that's on, you know, on, yeah. on everyone's lips. Um, this particular company has an intrinsic value of closer to uh, well, somewhere between twelve and thirteen dollars fifty, mm. or thereabouts. That's a Roger Montgomery intrinsic value. That's my value. Yeah. Now, most people would say, most people would hear that and they'd say, well, Roger, what do you know? Here's some big American companies that have come into our market, um, and they're willing to pay a lot more. Clearly, mm. you don't know what you're talking about. You mm. live on the upper north shore of Sydney, and you're, and you're little. You you're know, you're gardening you know? leaf. <laughs> you're correct. Yeah. What do you know? Yeah, you're you know, gardening. You're, you're hedging. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so the reality is, though, that I have seen many Australian CEOs and more American and European CEOs make acquisitions at stupid prices. Mm. So, so they're not immune to getting you know, a little bit hot under the collar, mm. a little bit excited and paying high prices for acquisitions. Mm. The reality is that the prices being paid now are based on the prospects for coal being very, very good without interruption for a long time. Yeah. Okay. It's, and it's that's a super resource boom they're talking exactly. about. Exactly. Yeah. But the reality is that China is in the midst of a property bubble. Hmm. Um, there's no question about that. You've got, in the commercial property space in China, you've got 30 billion square feet being constructed right now. Now, that's 23 square feet for every man, woman and child in China. They don't all need office space. Hmm. That's on top of the office space that's or, that already exists, which has 20% vacancy rates at the moment mm. and 20, 26, 25 and 26% declines in rents uh, in, in last year. Mm. So you've got declining rents, you've got 20% 20, 20 vacancy rates and you've got another 30 billion square feet of office being mm. constructed. Now that to me sounds like a bubble. Now what does that mean? Well banks are lending money. Banks in China are lending money to fuel this bubble. Now they're fueling the bubble. The 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 hard commodities in Australia, iron ore is being used and, and coal is being used um, for the infrastructure spending that's going on in China to fuel that. Mm, mm. And I'm, I'm suggesting that the reality is no country rises in a straight line, growth never occurs in a straight line, and I just think there's a possibility that there's going to be a hiccup. Mm. If there is, then these high prices are bubble prices mm. in the short term. But the thing is, is you know, I've listened to you for a long time, Roger, and you, you very seldom go to like a, a big macro issue to justify a view against a company. You often say, I don't care about the, the macro view, which often surprises yeah. me. But, but this one, you have done that. So you're, you're raising doubts about the possibility of coal prices creeping up. Like, remember when oil got to $147 a sure. barrel, coal tracks it up. Why couldn't that happen over the next four or five years and justify this process? And it process? can. And I'm not saying that the China mm. story isn't a good one. Yeah. I'm just saying that it won't be a, it won't be a, it won't be smooth sailing. Yeah. Now the reality is the re the only reason I'm looking at it from a macro perspective is I'm sort of scratching my head saying, why all the enthusiasm in coal stocks yeah. at the moment? Yeah. I mean, coal is not it's not a diamond. It's not uh, serenbite, which is the rarest gem on earth. Mm. You know, there's 160 odd years of supply mm. um, uh, factoring in expected uh, consumption rates mm. um, and demand. So, so there's no shortage. It's not a rare commodity. Mm. There's plenty of it. Could be so, that Peabody has, has another agenda apart from the share price of where MacArthur well, goes as well. Well, well it, it could be. Mm. It, could, it could be. But you know, you could argue that Foster's had another agenda when they bought Southcorp. And they, you know, now they've written a billion dollars off that acquisition. Mm. Um, you could argue Paperlinks had an, had a, another agenda. Don't pick on West Farmers. You always want to pick on West Farmers. No, you said it. I didn't. Yeah, I was going to talk say. about Paperlinks. Oh, you see it coming up as well. Paperlinks the same thing. You know, yeah. write downs again. Mm. So, so CEOs do over overpay. Yeah. You know, they're not immune to it. And, okay. and maybe this is another Go situation. Go for Centennial Coal now, because that's, an, that's a, a car company. C E Y is the code, isn't it? C. Mate, you're the person who does this more more often than I do. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's Centennial Coal. All right. So Centennial Coal. Um, now this is a classic example. You've got the share price up around four dollars sixty mm. or thereabouts. Um, you've got intrinsic value at a dollar fifty two, mm. rising to three dollars sixty nine. And then five dollars forty-seven. So it's now uh, now priced. So, at so it's it's now priced 
uh, between the 2011 and the 2012 valuation, yeah. but get the understand the jump in intrinsic values that's occurring here. The value goes from $1.52 mm. this year to $5.47. Now, why is the, why the big jump in intrinsic values? Because people are factoring in this wonderful boom in coal yeah. that's not going to end. Yeah. So, so it gets down to your judgment on that one. You, you, I'm the first one to admit I have no yeah. idea could where you, coal prices are going. Yeah, so could, we could get three or four good years, then that's, that slump you're talking about could happen then. I tend not to invest mm. in yeah. commodity companies mm. generally. Mm. Um, I like to go for the big ones, mm. um, but not, you know, not the special, not the un, non-diversified ones, because mm. I can't predict where the price of commodities are going to go. Mm. Nobody can. Yeah, and it's interesting, Roger, because you know you think coal prices will suffer because the eurozone is not going to zoom back quickly, but maybe in two years' time it will be better, and that could be better. So, but there are a lot of ifs and buts on this one, so yeah. we're not going to, we're not going to hold you to book what we will at JB no, Hi-Fi. You You're welcome to. No, JB yeah, let's, Hi-Fi let's will hold you to. Okay, without yeah, a doubt. More than happy to. Okay. But, but what, what really concerns me is that investors make decisions based on the macro factors. So what's happening, you know, the, the, the SEC in the United States um, uh, calling Goldman Sachs fraudulent, mm -hmm. you know, everyone's saying, oh, that's the reason why the, you know, the, the, the US market's down and, and our market should be down. How is that going to affect how many $2 tubes of toothpaste people buy from the reject shop or how many CDs people buy from JB Hi-Fi? It's not going to have an impact. So hopefully it provides an opportunity to buy these things cheaper. Mm, without a doubt. Now next time you're on the program, because some people have complained that when you talk about your intrinsic value yes. and, and the cash, and flow, cash, flow, cash yep. flow, you go too far. So okay. we're going to do it. It's going to be cash flow and intrinsic value for dummies. All right, let's All right. do it. 101. Okay. 101. We might, might call it, it half o oh, half because we want to really <laughs> slow this one down. All right, no problem. All right, mate. Thanks for joining us in the program. I'll see you in a fortnight. Okay, without a doubt.